Aging in Sims 2 sucks. It sucks really hard. Let's talk about it. Hello, VP Elders. Have you ever noticed that sometimes your Sim will age and out of nothing their lips disappear like Bella Goth? Or maybe their nose will get as big as EA mistakes on Sims 4? Don't get me wrong, I get that our bodies can and will change as we age, but the way this happens in Sims 2 is honestly crazy and it bothers me a lot. And also, did you know this actually doesn't need to happen at all? It can be somewhat fixed. By the way, I'm asking you to subscribe, like the video and leave a comment. It makes me so happy when people comment on my videos, even when it's a comment like this. So please show me some love. This is actually a genetic feature that Sims can pass along to their offspring. And even though I like the realism in it, because not everybody ages the same way, I just don't quite like the way it works. So for example, if a Sim ages poorly, their offspring will age poorly as well. But if a Sim ages gracefully, well, you get the drill. Aging is not really well handled by any Sims game, to be honest. It's not really uncommon to see beautiful children turning into horrible adults and beautiful couples having the ugliest babies. Oh, and by the way, I'm not talking about any specific human trait, I'm talking about disproportionately big or little noses, lips, eyes, cheeks. It does not only look bad, it looks unrealistic and doesn't make a lot of sense. But why does that happen in the first place? No matter the sim, every single one of them, either made by you or pre-made by the devs, they have a face template. Even though I would love to start sims from scratch, that's not possible. Every time you're instead of create a sim or even body shop, starting without a pre-made face template is not an option. And each and every single pre-made face template has a genetic of its own that cannot be changed. Did you know that? For example, you can select a template and proceed to make the biggest nose. The smallest part of lips, really crazy eyes, but it doesn't really matter how much you distance from the original template. The way that it ages won't really change, it's a matter of genetic, and I actually love that. Phrase 2 is actually quite present in pre-made sims, and what happens here is kind of funny. Phase 2 male sims will age pretty gracefully, but the faces from female sims will drop really hard. Their cheeks will be gone, their shins will melt and their noses will grow. I do understand we change as we age, but I hate how they change here. I spent so much time creating my sims and I guess that's the reason why I don't appreciate when the game completely changes my works of art. I'm really picky about how everything should look and if something doesn't go my way, I can get kinda crazy. I guess you can say I'm a control freak. Most faces will age poorly, some worse than others. We also have the broken ones that will not age properly at all, they will glitch and age into other face templates, it's a whole mess. Some people say black don't crack. I agree and Sims 2 does as well. Phase 7 is quite black inspired if you like and oh my god let me tell you it ages like fine wine. Nothing here changes in a grotesque way. The nose gets a little bigger, the lips gets a little smaller and the eyes don't change at all, it's pure perfection. So one solution is always starting with phase 7, your sims will have this close to perfect genetic and so will their offspring. Phase 3 is one of the weirdest cases here cause in addition to a bigger nose and smaller lips, the eyes get really close to each other as the sim becomes an elder, that's just weird, I don't think this happens. When making kids, you should always check how they'll look when adults. Even better, just start as adults and then go back, cause otherwise you'll probably be really frustrated once they grow up. Beautiful good looking kids always turns out to be the ugliest adults ever. Yeah. This also happens in real life though. Toddlers are the worst, they always look like little monsters and not Lady Gaga little monsters but freaky show little monsters. I don't know why, but the way every life stage connects visually one to another is really bad. But I have the solution. Even though phase 7 has really good aging genetics, it ages better for women than for men. As the control freak that I am, I studied each and every single phase of Create a Sim and how they age for both male and female sims. Some will get crazy bigger noses, but the eyes won't change much. Some will get smaller lips, but their noses will stay just the same. So my solution was to mix the better traits from different faces into one. The 
trick part though is checking if the same trait ages just as good for both women and men and that's our final result. As you can see, yes, the face still changes a little bit once my sims age into elders, but the changes are way more natural. I'm quite proud of myself for that. Now every time I want to create a sim, I start with these templates. But not everything is perfect and there is another problem I fear. For some odd reason, the faces that I mix do not get along the way they should, or the way that I was hoping they would. What happens is, once you start tweaking the face, this incredibly annoying line beneath their eyes emerge. I don't know what that's supposed to be, it looks like a glitch scar or something. Now this is a cry for help, please if a CC maker is watching this, I need you to make a slider that will make this line disappear, this is driving me insane. I wonder if we can change the way the original templates age in CPE. As stated before, this is a genetic matter and I know for a fact we can edit genetics here. But still, I'm not sure. This could also be really useful and if someone knows how one can manage that, please let me know. I'm aware that right now a lot of you think I'm crazy but I just really love this game and I spent so much time playing in it that I became a little obsessed I guess. I'm working in a custom hood and I made over 300 sims so that's how everything started I guess. Oh and please don't think of me as an ageist, I would actually love for Sims 2 to feature more elderly related stuff, better wrinkles, hair loss, walking sticks, all of that shit. Sims 4 is actually great at that. Aging can suck in more than just one way though, I feel like elder Sims don't have much to do with the little time they have left. However, there's stuff that you can do to make playing with them more fun, such as open a business or just starting a nursing home in the hood. This can lead to so much chaos and we all know simmers love chaotic messes. Anyway, other boys, that was today's video, I hope you like it and if that's the case, you know what to do, show me some love. I'll see you in the next one, XOXO, Creuza Darwin.